What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Another day in the life with Speedy Gons. So it's been a little while since I've done a Beamer Code video, so for those of you who have been following, you know, my Avin USA head unit installation, here is the fix to correcting the screen resolution and getting the screen to, you know, fit the full, not even like a stretched view, but fit the full screen. And it fixes the rear view camera issue I was having. So for the few people that asked, here is your fix. If you haven't watched those videos and you don't care about the Avenue USA screen, well, that's cool. I'll still link those up here so you can go back and watch. But yeah, so this is a screen issue that, you know, you may have if you're upgrading from the 6.5 OEM screen to, you know, the 8.8 .8 or the 10.25, 10, 10 which is the Avenue screen. So if you're looking to upgrade, you know, a screen and you need to code in that feature, lo and behold, this is a video for you. Let's do it. Alright, so for the sake of time, I'm just going to hop in demo mode. If you need help coding, just go watch. I have prior videos I'll link up here, so I'll add in the screen record right about now. We're going to need to hop in the head unit and then hop into expert mode. So you're going to be looking for 3001 EX box. Scroll down, it's a little more than halfway. We're looking for the display variant. So display variant. You're going to need to do this as well as a second code, but this is definitely what you need to do. This second code I went in and checked, and I actually didn't need to do that, but I'll, I'll obviously still show you. You're going to need to change it to Brites. So for me, it was on Shamales at first. <laughs> and you need to change it to the second one, Brites. So then hop out, and then we're going to... 3000 HMI. So the reason why I went into 3001 first is you need to code in that one 100% definitely. This one, maybe. So if you look to the right of the screen, hopefully you guys can see this in the screen record. When you're scrolling down, it's about halfway and then a little bit more. You're looking for the display resolution. <laughs> Excuse me. It's a little more than halfway. All right, so it's display size resolution right here. Click that, and then depending on, you know, obviously what screen you just bought, you know, so at first we were at 6.5, the OEM, no navigation. If you get the 8.8, .8, it's the second one. And then for the Avon screen, it's either the third one or the fourth one. So I actually tried them both. My solution came when I put it on the fourth one. So the 10.25, the 1600 by 600. So this fourth one, then you're going to hop out of this, go back to the main screen, hit code at the top right, and there it is. As well as then I'm going to show you guys the screen configuration as well. So let's hop into that now. All right, so with the display configuration, you're going to hold in menu. Go over to this screen. All right, and then we're gonna scroll over. We're gonna hop in settings, and then we're gonna go into the system settings, the factory, and then the code is 1314. Oh, maybe if I could type, that'd be cool. 1314. So remember that, 1314. And then you're gonna need to go into car type. All right, so when I first installed the screen the very first thing you know when I started looking in my settings it was on this top one so the 6.5 half screen I changed it to the 6.5 full screen and I was you know it was working but after I ran the codes and beamer code after you know I started messing around with my configurations I, I tried this one and then what you need to do is if you want to change them you just click on it and then don't hit update configuration up here you want to just like click on it again and then you'll see this screen click on the checkbox to the right and then you're good so then when you go back you can hold in menu and go back all right so when you're at this screen and you go over to this way and you hold in menu and go back sometimes when you go back to the oem screen especially when you change the settings it might show up like no the hdmi is not connected and it
might show up that it's not reading a signal but when it when that pops up just try this anyway so on the iDrive controller like they're literally the controller just click back once or twice and see if it still recognizes because sometimes the HDMI wasn't recognizing and it was saying you know no signal no connection to the HDMI something like that but when I clicked back it worked so the first time I implemented so we'll go back hop in settings put in the code again 1314 remember that that first time I did this and changed it to the 8.8 .8, and then went back into held in menu and then went back to this screen it was saying it wasn't working that there was no signal so I, I kept trying I've actually that past screen that I just left I tried pretty much every single one in that screen but then once I did the 8.8 .8 again and then it popped up no signal and I clicked back it just came up to this screen and I was like, all right, well, it worked, you know, no stretch, no nothing. And, you know, that worked out just fine. So if you got any questions, concerns, comments, leave them down in the section below. Alright, so that about wraps up today's video. Like I just said, any questions, comments, concerns, just leave them down below. Thank you guys for watching another video. You know, this might not be peculiar to, you know, if you have the Avon screen, but if you have an updated screen and you're looking to code in, you know, your car to recognize the new screen, that process will help you. For those who have asked about the Avon screen, you know, that was my solution. It may be different for you being that you know your car and what you've previously had and what you're upgrading to like per car so just mess around with the configurations in that avon screen and yeah if you guys need any help let me know i got you guys peace